and welcome to PocketGamer.biz's YouTube channel. So the game we're looking at today is uh, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Um, and what we're actually going to look at is a very, very specific kind of part of the game design. Uh, so let's just uh, go into a battle. So uh, let's choose an easy one just to show what we're doing. Okay, so I've been playing this game for a while. Um, and um, so this will be, let's say, an easy battle. So let's go in and play a normal battle. So this is the basic um, kind of mission structure of the game. It's a kind of a card battler game, so I can borrow um, someone's hero. It doesn't really matter what's going on here. So these are my five heroes. This is one I've borrowed here. So he's actually a higher level character than mine. Um, and off it goes. So being a card game, it's going to go into like a battle arena. Where we're going to see these kind of characters, they're not really cars, isn't they? see cars in the game, but it's very um, much inspired by car battlers. So we can see um, it's a turn based system. There's uh, some baddies over there, three baddies. I'm playing the light side at the moment. I can also play dark side in the game, it doesn't really matter. So this um, Ewok's going to target this Stormtrooper. Whack. These are very high power characters compared to the uh, enemy. So now it's time for him, he's going to blast him. So we can see kind of what's going on here. I, can, I can't I can change at the moment because there's only one to select, but I could choose different character, choose different enemies to attack. Um, in this case, I could do um, a special attack. So this is going to like totally take him out. Um, there's different different kind of um, secondary attacks or, or kind of buffs you can do. So this is like a, don't need to do it now, but it's like a heal buff. So it's going to heal my characters. Chewie's going to do a taunt. That means all that he's a tank character. So... There we go, we can see, press and hold on here to see all enemies will target Chewie because he can take a lot of damage. So this guy is a clone guy, he can, um, he's going to attack all enemies. Okay, I get the idea. But So I can do this manually or just, I can hit auto. The auto just means in this situation it's very simple. Um, what What's going to do is not really any strategic um, kind of depth to be made for, in, for me. I can e just easily let it going to hand it over to the effectively the game AI, which is going to do all this for me. Now, um, yeah, purists will say this is not really a game. Now you're just handing it over, and, and, and you know how does that really even count as a game? Um, and you know, it's, it's not a not a terrible question, but it's interesting that EA has put this mechanism in. So you can see we've kind of finished. There were three three battles in, in that one mission, and then I've earned some um, different things. I've earned like a power cell. I've earned what's this uh, armor mod. I've earned Fusion furnace, I don't know what they are really, and then some XP. Here's my pair level, I've got some uh, training droid X so I can train, um, and then I've got some credits. Okay, so we can see, you know, um, that's the point of doing the mission release to get those resources. Um, so I can select um, a normal battle, or I can select a hard battle. Hard battles work exactly the same way. Um, I can manually play them all, obviously, it's much quicker to um, play them using. The auto button. Um, in most cases, maybe you could argue in certain levels that I will lose because I'm um, autoing it. Um, but in most cases, it's the level of the character, the level of the, of the character you've got, and the equipment they've got um, equipped, which is the most important thing. And actually, as you play this game for any length of time, the actual battles become, um, if not secondary, um, they're not very interesting in and of themselves. What's interesting is what characters you've got. Um, you know, certainly if you're collecting shards, you know, which it's all about which missions you're playing um, and which one what kind of rewards or loot you want to get and this is really shown very well in this sim so sim I'm just going to hit that and it's going to simulate this battle effectively I mean effectively I don't really care what it means it means I have to play the battle and I get the rewards I'm just gonna do it again so again pure to my guy this is disgusting this is where's the game in this um, these are all I have to point out these are all levels I've unlocked already so if I go to actually where I'm playing I can't, um, this is the level I'm on, I can't even play, I can't play it in hard, I can't sim it. Um, this one I can sim, but I can't play it in hard yet because I've not unlocked all of the levels on normal. So it's kind of blocking stuff, blocking me um, in some ways and what I can do. It's not just about simming everything, but you can see that simming is a big part of the game when you get into, I've not been playing it that long, maybe 10 hours. And why this is important is when you go into characters, the game is all about the characters. You can see here I can train some characters, you can see here some characters with, um, this is a good example. This is a good example of the Ewok Scout. So he's got um, five of his slots are already fitted. Oh, um, if I press this equip, there's a special. Um, this is gonna. I, mean, I don't really care what it is, but um, if I equip it, now I can upgrade him. 
there we go, he's upgraded, so he's got more numbers, <laughs> his numbers have gone higher. <laughs> there we go, I can also train him, so these are these, um, this will, uh, so these are these, these droids that I collected, that will get him up to level 21, pay a bit of that um, kind of uh, currency, all that credit stuff, off we go, boom, boom, boom. So now we can see because he's leveled up, he's got all these extra things that can be equipped. This one I have to craft, so there's multiple um, things of that. So, but in this case, I could, oh, where's my bulb gone? Yeah, that's right. Um, but in this case, um, it says find. So actually, oh, actually, what I have to do if I want to. Um, find this Nubian scanner, it's telling me, well I can't, I've got to, got to craft these, I haven't got, I haven't got one of those objects, so it's telling me where to find it, that's going to tell me, I have to go play this level, so it's 2B hard on the light side, so I can go in, if I, if I unlock it, yeah, there it is, um, I can't just sim it, there we go, now did I find it, maybe it was that one, um, let's see, go back, um, no, I didn't find. Um, but you can see now the point of the game is not to play the what we originally thought, which was the the kind of turn-based missions. What the actual part of the game is, what they call you know the meta game, is to go through and start to um, you know equip these. This is part of it um, to train because I that sim when I sim that I got some more, so I can level him up or her up. I don't know. Um, so this is the point of the game, and this is, I guess, what some people. This is certainly in, in um, certainly you know, countries like Korea and Japan and China. This this is the kind of long tail of the game, or the you know the kind of the area where they do, which they do very well, much better than in the West, where they kind of retain and monetize and get these people playing for for long periods of time. Because it's very hard to keep a game um, interesting. we in terms of the gameplay being interesting for months and months and months at a time. But when you're kind of you know. At the moment, my characters aren't very high level. Obviously, I can go in and, and kind of buy some more high level characters, but then I need I can spend money or I need, um, need you know, so, um, there's more of this chromium to unlock the data cards. I mean, some of these are money, some of these are, you know, for, for the hard currency. And this is why this is very important, and this is why it's interesting actually that the EA, which has not been renowned for this type of deep level of kind of layered um, meta gameplay hooks. Perhaps in its, in its Simpsons game is the best example where it's done this well. But uh, it's interesting it's done this in a Star Wars game, because Star Wars obviously is a is a more kind of mass, mass not mass market, but kind of broad, broad has broad appeal. Um, uh, so you, it may, may be a bit of a surprise that they have this kind of like auto-sim kind of situation. Um, but I think it's good. Um, it's what they need to do to, 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 to make the most of, of this kind of game. So um, yeah, so that's kind of what we do at Pocket Game Not Biz. We kind of look at these games, analyze them, not in massive depth, but kind of give you some broad view on what's going on behind the design. So don't forget to subscribe and come back and see what we're looking at next week. See you then.